So we're going to discuss the lob today and Nick Matthews' use of the lob. So what he does is, he doesn't always play the lob when he's under the fullest amount of pressure. What I love about what Nick Matthews does is that sometimes when he's either not quite in the right position or he wants to take a break or he actually wants to attack in a different way, he'll lob. So if the ball's in front of him and he hasn't got time to get round into position, he'll just flick his wrist and really lift that racket right up, take it well out in front of him and get that ball high as he can and then down into the corner. So what this does is, it basically gives him time to recover but also to put pressure on. And the thing with a lob is, and I'm, I'm always talking about this when we talk about lobs, is you can be so offensive with a shot. It can be such an attacking shot. It doesn't have to be this defensive under all manners of pressure and having just to get the ball up and away to get past your opponent. You can use this as a really attacking shot from a relatively comfortable position. And this is something that Nick does do. Now, of course, under extreme pressure, he does it as well. He really does get down low and lift the racket up through the ball and get that ball going as high as he possibly can. First of all, on the front wall, and then taking that right up so the his opponent can't hit it until the ball starts to drop down, which gives him, as ever with lobs, the time to recover. He uses this to huge effect, especially when he's playing players like Rami Oshur um, and James Wilstrup, who attack him into the front quite a lot. So he needs to be able to get that lob up to then recover his position and get back into the rally. So like I said, two options here. You can use it to attack when you're under not necessarily huge amounts of pressure, and you can also use it um, to defend when you're really under pressure and you've got to just get the ball high up and away and recover back to the tee.